you have a deck of cards and nothing to do. Let's say the internet went down and you only play League of Legends, so you don't have any friends you can hang out with. And just this deck of cards to uh, spend some time. In this video I am going to show you a quick solitaire that you can do. It's not that hard, but it is a lot of fun if spending time alone playing with cards is fun for you. It's, it is for me. So take the cards out of the box and shuffle them once, twice or how many times you like. Now make sure to take out the advertisement cards that are in there somewhere and the jokers. With that out of the way you can now proceed to play the game. Start by turning a card. If it's any other card other than a 6 or a 7, put it here. The next one here and so on forming these four cards these are the spare cards that you can use also you can use the next card which sits right here this is your discard pile everything will pile up there now keep turning cards until you've hit the six or a seven the sixes go in the middle and you go downwards from 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ace. Sevens in the corners and upwards, 8, 9, 10, and so on. Now, here, in this situation, I have a 7 here and an 8 on top of the discard pile. I can use this, this to complete here and also these cards here. Now, I take the card off the discard pile into the usable cards right there. Keep the sixes separately. So, after you put an ace here, you can use the next one to complete. You'd have these kinds of sequences when you get a lot of cards and everything seems to fit right. And also, you have to pay attention. Pay attention to the cards that you can use, because if you miss some, you really make your chances of completing this a lot smaller. And as it will happen many times, you won't succeed. This one gets done pretty hard. It's not an easy one to do, but it's really quick and you can do it multiple times. You don't get that angry how you do when playing classic solitaire when you don't get it right. Before going, I will say that this is a French solitaire that I learned from my grandpa and its French name is Le Tombeau du Napoléon, the Nap Napoleon's tomb. And you'll see why it's called like that when you finish it, because it will have a small tomb in the tomb in the middle and then four guards guarding its corners. Thank you for watching, subscribe.